Today we're going to be looking to add the weight value from a scales to a label on a industrial label printer directly from the scales via a serial cable. So we'll be using some computator white label software, Avery Scales and a Godex industrial printer. So first thing we're going to do is create the label. So when we're creating a label we choose the printer from the list, we'll choose the model of printer, the ZX 1200. We're using a ribbon, so with thermal transfer, and the labels we've got today are 100 by 100, so that's okay. And now what we've got to do is we add a data source. So we give the data source, this is going to be the weight that the data that comes from the printer waiting for data that's just a label that will be on the front of the printer telling us what's going on that's going to be the default data so we know where to put it on the label so if we add that choose the data source we've just made and we have to use a printer font because the data isn't coming from the computer it's coming from the printer so we'll give that a label so if we wait there and add that, <clears throat> and if we just tidy that up, um, let's square everything and put it on now. Let's pop to make the label look like a label. So if we just type something in here, what we're going to do, uh, yeah, Bob's Butchers, that'll do. Um, we'll size that and center it on the label. And now, there we go. Um, what else can we do? We'll put some sort of product on there, so we'll move these out of the way. We'll put a product on, so it's another data source. We'll use a, a, a simple drop-down list. We could use a database, but um, for the purpose of this demonstration. So, the product, um, this is just the label, ask us what to do. So, what we'll put in there, we'll put some beef, uh, we'll put some lamb and put some chicken so there we go those are this doesn't really matter it's just just to to show you you know we're creating a label that look like something so if we add that we're adding it as multi-line text so that way we can always have the text in the center of the label so we center that um no matter how long the text is we're just using the standard windows fonts here so that's and that goes and yep so now we'll save the label give it a name just call it scales uh okay and now we're going to print and so remember we put where we send in this directly to the print so we'll just choose what uh product we're having okay that and remember, we're sending this directly to the printer. So we just send the label to the printer. So there we go. Print. And that should send a label to the Godex. So it's a, let's have a look at the front of the printer. So there we are. We have a look at the menu. And it tells us that the scales label is in there. And you remember we wrote waiting for data. That's there. So if we... We haven't got any chicken, so we'll just pop the box on there, 69 grams, print, there we go. So another print it again, there you go. Well, uh, let's, we haven't got any beef or lamb either, so let's just pop some wipes on there, 37 grams, print. And that's basically it, simple as that. So, there we are, all done.